Let's take a look at Giphy's interface. Every time you open Giphy, you have this little panel proposing you to open recent networks, but you can also open some of the samples that are built in Giphy. I am going to open my own network. Once you open a file within Giphy, you have a report that tells you if everything is right or wrong. As you can see with this network, there are some minor problems. You may have some major problems. Because these are minor problems, they are labeled as warning. I'm just going to overlook them. You can also change the type of graph in case it's not specified in your file format. Is it a directed network or an indirected network or maybe mixed? You can check the number of nodes and the number of edges to be sure that it's what you were expecting. If you're fine, just click OK. Most of the time, the first time you open a network within Gephi, you have a square. That's because your nodes don't have a position already. So you have to give them a position. You have to give them coordinates so that the arrangement of the nodes tells you something about the structure of the network. That's one of the main features of Giphy. But for the moment, it's just a square. This main panel is where you can interact with your network. You can use your mouse or your trackpad to move the view and to zoom. To move, it's just like drag and dropping, but with the right click. So right click, move, release. You can also zoom with the mouse wheel or two fingers and up and down or the side of the trackpad the same way you would scroll basically. Now we can display the labels with the big black T on the bottom and we can size all these labels with the right slider here. Let's change the size of the nodes and their color. On the top left, you have this appearance panel where you can choose whether you want to act on the nodes or on the edges. Then you can choose whether you act on the color with this little palette, the size, the color of the labels or the size of the labels. Now let's give a shape to the network according to its topology, its links. Let's choose a layout in the list. For instance, Frischtorm and Rheingold. And let's run the layout. This works like a physics simulation. The nodes are repulsed, but they still attract each other when they are linked, as if they were uh, linked by a spring and it's up to you to decide when the equilibrium is reached so when you've spent enough time you can just stop it if you pick another algorithm for instance force atlas 2 you will have a different result on the right you have two panels hidden behind each other the filters and the statistics the filters allow you to hide certain parts of your network, depending on the attributes, and the statistics allow you to compute different things. I'm not going to talk about them right now. You have two other main areas within Gephi. The second one is the data laboratory, and you can access it with this big button on top. And this is like a mini Excel, a mini spreadsheet for your nodes and your edges. You can change the table you see between nodes and edges on the top left right here. And finally, you have the preview area where you can preview the image before you export it. 
to see it, you have to click on refresh. And if your network is very, very big, it will take some time. So that's why you may want to visualize only 10%, for instance, of your network, just to have an idea of what it looks like. Let's display everything. And here you can zoom and pan with the same uh, feature. Once you're done, you can export your picture with this button, export, and you can choose PDF, PNG, or SVG. Two things before we leave Gephi. The first one, you can change the language in this menu, Tools, Language. I'm not going to do that now. And secondly, there are plugins. In Tools Plugins, you can open a library of plugins, available plugins, for instance, the Leiden algorithm for community detection and the HTTP graph generator install. And now these plugins have added functionality to Gephi. For instance, the Leiden algorithm is right here. 